If you've been searching for dental implant grants and you're feeling discouraged, you're not alone. The truth is, they're hard to find. The internet is full of misleading promises about free dental implants, but I've done some research and I've found a few options that may be able to help you. But before we dive into those, I just want to be very upfront with you. This can be a real challenge because most dental assistance programs focus on essential care, like relieving pain or fixing cavities or protecting your health. Implants are often considered cosmetic, so most services usually won't cover them. In fact, many low-cost clinics might even encourage you to consider dentures or partials or other treatments instead, as they're generally more affordable and easier to do. But don't lose hope just yet. I've actually managed to find a program that does offer free dental implants for low-income people who need them. That program is called Implanting Inspiration, and it's offered by an organization called the Smiles for Everyone Foundation. This foundation estimates that around 69% of American adults have lost at least one tooth and could use a dental implant, but they also know that not everyone can afford one. After all, the average cost of a dental implant in the United States is around $2,000 per tooth. That's why they created the Implanting Inspiration Program. This program is available for low-income, underinsured Americans who need a dental implant but can't get one on their own. But there are two things you need to know about this program. First, you have to get your dental implant from one of their partnered dental organizations. But don't worry, they have over 700 brands that they work with in 30 different states. Some of their partners include big names like Bright Now Dental, Monarch Dental, Midwest Dental, Impact Direct, and DDS Lab. The second thing you need to know is that they only accept a certain number of applications at a time and they only accept them at certain times in the year. You need to keep close tabs on their application page so that you know when the application period opens and you don't miss out. I'll link to it in the description of this video. I recommend bookmarking that page and checking back often for updates. There's a lot of demand for these free dental implants, so when it opens, you'll need to act fast to claim your spot. Now, while Implanting Inspiration is a legitimate and helpful program, I want to warn you about another option that you might come across in your search. It's called Cosmetic Dentistry Grants, but unfortunately, it is not what it seems. This program heavily advertises grants for dental implants, but it doesn't quite work that way in practice. They act as a referral service, connecting you with dentists who may charge inflated prices, making the grant seem more significant than it is. Customers are often expected to pay $50 in order to book their first appointment with a partnered provider, and then they later find out that they can't use the grant anyway, and they wasted that money. That's because the CDG grants only cover a small portion of the cost of services. Some people say half, but a lot of recent reviewers claim they were offered 10% or less of the cost of the service. Worse, many reviewers reported feeling misled by the program. Several found out that they would save money going to a different dentist and skipping the grant altogether. As Sarah M. wrote on Yelp, essentially a normal dentist would charge you $800, but these guys will say it usually costs $2,000, but they'll give you a grant for half. Clearly, you're not winning in that situation. Ultimately, it appears that cosmetic dentistry grants is just a referral service. I do not recommend them, but if you choose to follow up with them, please proceed with great caution and make sure that you comparison shop to make sure that you're getting a good price. As we've discussed earlier, most low-income dental clinics and grant programs won't cover dental implants. This is because implants are expensive, they require specialized expertise, and are often considered a cosmetic rather than an essential procedure. You may have seen Dental Lifeline Network mentioned online as a resource for free implants, but it's important to note that their services typically focus on basic dental care, like fillings, cleanings, and extractions. While they're an amazing resource for many, their website clearly states that implants, sedation, and other complex treatment plans are often beyond the scope of what DLN can provide. However, there are still a few options you can explore for affordable or even free dental implants. Donated Dental Services is one option. This program connects volunteer dentists with eligible individuals who have permanent disabilities or who are medically fragile. While they don't always provide implants, it's worth checking their eligibility requirements to see if you qualify and see if that's something they can do for you. Dental schools are another potential go-to. Many dental schools have clinics where students provide treatment under the supervision of experienced dentists. 
These clinics often offer significantly reduced rates for procedures like implants, as they are learning opportunities for students. After all, every dentist had to learn somewhere. Clinical trials are another choice. Participating in a dental implant clinical trial could give you access to free or discounted implants. These trials are research studies testing new materials or techniques though, so there may be risks or specific eligibility requirements involved, so be sure to thoroughly research any trials you consider. Now, if you find these options uncomfortable or intimidating, you're not alone. I don't like them either. I know they're not ideal. But the frustrating truth is that even government programs like Medicaid or the VA typically will not cover dental implants. For example, Medicaid will only cover them if it is considered medically necessary. This could mean that you need the dental implant to preserve your jawbone integrity, support your facial structure, protect your ability to speak properly, or for some other medical reason that goes beyond cosmetic. The VA is the same way. Even if you're a veteran who qualifies for dental care through the VA, you typically can't get dental implants from them. If dentures or a cheaper alternative will do the trick, then that's what they're going to offer. You might also see deals for dental implants on Groupon, but just be very careful here. Like with cosmetic dentistry grants, some providers might inflate their prices to make the discount seem better than it is. Always do your research, compare prices, and read reviews before choosing a Groupon deal for a dental implant. And of course, if you're interested in considering a more affordable option like dentures, there are a ton more resources that may be able to help you. You can get help with dentures from many of the providers on our free dental clinics list. Let me know if you'd like to see a follow-up video on that. And in the meantime, don't forget to check out our recent video for all the incredible Medicaid freebies we found.